if there are two houses are self occupied the income tax has given permission any one house can be considered as self occupied and the second house will be compulsory it must be considered as let out under section 24 we are supposed to calculate 30% in case of self occupied and deemed let out in these two cases they will not get the chance of vacancy Hello everyone this is your other sir lecturing with your stream first grade college the temple of excellence so we are in the session 9 of your topic called income tax 1 under income tax 1 we are discussing income from house property now under income from house property which topic we are going to discuss today now almost we have done all kinds of problems in the previous session and we will work out the similar kind of problem but some different adjustments now the agenda will be very simple problems on house property problems on house property now in this what kind of problem you may get in this the question will be like this mr pande owner of three houses how many houses are there three in chennai furnishes the following information compute his income from house property for the assessment year 2020 and 2021 in this these are the information they have house 1 house 2 as well as house 3 now standard rent under rent control act this is a standard rent and gross municipal value the municipal valuation rent received this will be actual rent received remember there is no rent received and there is no rent received in this what should we do first one will be it will be what let out property why because actual rent received is there if the actual rent received is there you have given for let out you have given for rent so it will be what 37500 they have given in the sense it is let out property now if it is let out property house 2 actual rent not given house 3 also actual rent not given hope you are clear yes up to this we have understood now what is the next one the next one in the sense house 2 and we have house 3 house 2 and we have house 3 in this case out of two houses one house you have to consider as self occupied why because to reduce your tax one more house even though it is self occupied you cannot take the reason is listen it carefully if there are two houses are self occupied the income tax has given permission any one house can be considered as self occupied and the second house will be compulsory it must be considered as let out in the sense of deemed let out deemed let out now in this case which house will go for deemed let out and which house will go for self occupied see this seems like higher value the numbers are big that's why i'll make this as self occupied property if i take it as a let out i have to pay more tax these numbers are smaller so this house i can call it as deemed let out property hope you understood this is a way you are supposed to do problem if there are two houses without actual rent both are called self occupied self occupied means residential purpose now out of this whichever is the higher value that consider as self occupied lesser value take it as deemed let out you have to pay tax on this you are not supposed to pay tax on this why because numbers are higher self occupied numbers are less make it as let out hope you are clear yes so up to this we have completed you have fair rent repairs 
is not part of your income from house property. Municipal tax will consider interest on loan taken for construction. We will consider brokerage. We will not consider vacancy period. We will consider collection charges. We will not take recovery of unrealized rent. We are supposed to take now vacancy period. I told you vacancy period means what in that out of 12 months. If two or three months in case we have six months, we have six months. If the house is let out, if the house is let out and the tenants are not there, then you will not get rent. For example, out of 12 months, four months, your house is vacant. No tenants are there. They left that four months rent you will not get that four months rent you will not get this we call it as this we call it as what so this will be your vacancy period but the rule is please write down this what is the rule the rule is if it is self-occupied are deemed to be let out in these two cases the vacancy period ignored in case of self-occupied and deemed let out, in these two cases, they will not get the chance of vacancy. The vacancy period applicable only for whom? Let out property. For let out property, we have an option of vacancy. For self-occupied and deemed to be let out, we don't have that option of your vacancy clear so these two must be ignored why because it is self-occupied and deemed to be let out write down this this is very important now i'll go for the answer actually now in this computation of income from house property for the assessment year for the assessment year 2020 and 21. Combination of income from house property for the assessment year 2020 and 2021. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now we'll go for municipal value. So what is the municipal value as per this? So we have to take it for this one and we have to take it for this one. I'll go back again. This will be your, I'll write down this. This is let out property. This is self-occupied property. This is deemed to be let out property. Remember this. Now, municipal value is how much? Municipal value is 34,000 and 30,000. These two only we should consider. Self-occupied means no calculation. Now, 34,000 and 30,000. 34,000 and 30,000. Next. Your fair rent is how much? 45 and 45. Your fair rent is fair rent is forty five thousand and forty five thousand. This is over. Next is what? So out of this, whichever is higher, out of this we get forty five thousand and forty five thousand higher value. Compare with your standard rent. Compare with your standard rent, whichever is less. What is your standard rent? The standard rent in the sense. So standard rent we have 36. We have nil for this second house. So it will be what? 36,000 and this will be nil. So lesser 36,000. Here there is no standard rent. We consider 45,000 itself a least price over. So there is a lesser value. 
this is over. Then compare with actual rent, actual rent, whichever is higher. Actual rent, whichever is higher. Now, I'll go back to this. What is actual rent? 37,500 and this will be nil. 37,500 and this will be nil. This will be, what will be your answer? 37,500 nil and this will be 45,000. This is your gross annual value. Up to this hope there is no doubt. You got your gross annual value 37,500. You got your gross annual value 45,000. What is the next one? Minus municipal tax. Minus municipal tax. The municipal tax is what? 10% of municipal value. You know the municipal value how much? This is 34. This is 30 on the 10%. But 40% due still not paid. How much paid? 60% paid. Now, in this, what is the municipal value? 34,000. 34,000 into 10% into 60%. Why it is 60%? 100 minus 40%. Your answer is 60. 40% due means outstanding. How much paid then? 60% paid. So 34,000 into 10% into 60%. I'll calculate now. 34,000, it will be 34,000 into 10 percent into 60 by 100. I got answer 2040. I got answer 2040. Here it will be municipal value how much? 30,000. 30,000 multiplied with 10%. It is directly. Why? Because fully paid. Fully paid means will take full value. It will be 3,000. 42,000. And this will be 34,960. I'll cross check once. 37,500 minus 2040. I got 35,460. 35,000, yes, 35,460. 35,460. Hope you are clear. This will be nil and this will be net annual value. Hope you understood up to this. What is your net annual value? 35,460 and 42,000. Now, I'll go to the next one. Net annual value 35,460. Second one, it will be nil. And the third one, 42,000. Less what? 30% less, 30% standard deduction under section 24. Under section 24, we are supposed to calculate 30%. Now, 35,460, 35,460 multiplied with 30% and one more is 42,000 multiplied with 30 percent. We'll calculate 35,460 multiplied with 30 by 100. I got 10,638. 10,638. What is the next one? 42,000 multiplied with 30 percent. I got 12,600. Now, we have interest also. Interest on loan. So, is there any interest on loan? 
as i told you intel brokerage we will not take vacancy as i told you for self occupied and deemed to be let out we will not consider vacancy collection charges will not come and your interest on loan for construction we have 2000 we have 4000 we have 3000 2 4 and 3 2000 4000 and 3000 i'll cross check once 2 4 and 3 this will be 2 4 as well as 3 so if you minus this what will be your answer this will be 4000 in the bracket this will be what 42000 minus these two 42000 minus 12600 minus 12600 minus 3000 it will be 26400 26400 hope you are clear good and we calculate first one 35460 minus 10,638 minus 2,000. This will be 22,822. 22,822. I'll cross check once. 35,460 minus 10,638 minus 2000 22822 I got the right answer now is there any other information recovery of unrealized rent is rupees 5000 we have collection charges will not come this thing so there is a recovery of 5000 in case of house one unrealized rent always comes at the end we are supposed to add how much 5000 this will be 5000 add unrealized rent unrealized rent now what is the final answer final answer minus 4000 final answer 26 400 final answer 27 8 20 so we'll go for the final one. The final one will be, I'll calculate 22,822 plus 5,000, 27,822 plus, we have 26,400, 26,400 minus minus 4000 I got answer of I'll calculate again 27822 plus 26400 is equal to minus 4000 I got 50000 220 this will be your income from house property. Hope you are clear. Yes. I'll go back to all these slides so that you can take screenshot. So this will be your problem number 14. The first part of your solution. The second part of your solution. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. So today we have discussed about vacancy period in case of self-occupied as well as deemed to be let out if there are two houses self-occupied how do we consider all this calculation you have learned please work out this problem without seeing the answer thank you